Hi, I'm Judy Harvin, and I have put together a very short practice. Um, I've designed this to be done midday, mid-afternoon. It's meant to be more opening. Um, we focus on some gentle back bends and heart openers on poses that help counter the effects of gravity that have been bearing down on us all day long. Um, I chose to film this outside. We're at my farm right now. So you'll be hearing lots of sounds. Um, we're right next to the ponds. So we've got bullfrogs and there's lots of birds out today and I think a plane. I don't think he's respecting my no-fly zone that I put into effect, but um, maybe some dogs barking. Um, I love being outside. I find it very energizing and so I thought I would bring a little of that quality into the video as well. So why don't we get started? Now step to the front of your mat. Roll your shoulders back, stand tall, and bring your palms together at the heart. And inhale, lift your arms toward the sky. Exhale, soften your knees and fold. Hang here for a moment, let your arms relax, let your neck relax, let your head become heavy. And just sway a little, releasing any tension that you may have gathered during the course of your day. Nod the head, yes, no. And then bring your hands to the hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, come all the way back to standing. Inhale, arms reach, interlace the hands. Extend the index finger and thumb and exhale to the left. Inhale and lift. And exhale, arcing to the right. Inhale and lift. Exhale, soften the knees and fold. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine, then bend the knees. Plant your hands and step your right leg way back. Begin to draw slow, deep circles with the hips. Make this movement slow and luxurious, easing tension from the hips, reverse direction. And then bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot and let your knee drop to the side. Come back to center, soften the knees and step your right foot forward. Bring your hands to your shins, inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, touch your palms and exhale, glide the thumbs to the heart. Inhale, arms reach, interlace your fingers and again, exhale to the left. Inhale, lift to center and exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, soften the knees and forward fold. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine, bend the knees, plant the hands, and take a deep step back with your left leg. And continue, again, making those large circles with the hips. And switch direction, loosening, easing tension from the hips. Bring your right hand to the inside of the right foot. Let your right knee open to the side and then come back to center. Soften your knees and step forward. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Touch the palms and exhale, glide the thumbs to the heart. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And this time, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the right and the left leg back into the top of a push-up or plank pose. Lower your knees to the floor and then slowly lower hips, heart, and shin. Slide the hands a few inches back. Press the tops of the feet and your hips into the earth and inhale, lift your heart off the floor and exhale, lower. Continue like this a few times, slowly inhaling as you lift, exhale as you lower, letting the buoyancy of your breath lift you. The next time you inhale, pause for a moment at the top, and then press up, bringing your hips to your heels. Press back up to hands and knees and walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Walk your knees back away from your hands as far as you comfortably can and then rest your forehead on the floor and let your heart just release down toward your mat. Let your belly relax so that it draws up as you exhale and expands as you inhale. 
and feel a good stretch in the chest, in the shoulders, in the sides. Then as you inhale, lift up. Bring your knees and your hands a few inches closer together. Curl your toes under and exhale up to downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Let your feet be about hip distance apart here and just move as it feels good. Come back to center and inhale your shoulders over your wrists to plank and exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale downward facing dog. A deep inhalation forward filling the lungs. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale forward to plank and exhale back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale forward to plank and this time lower your knees and then lower your hips, heart and chin all the way down. Open your arms on the ground straight out to the side. Slide your right hand underneath your right shoulder and roll onto your left side. Use your top leg, your right leg as a kickstand. Now you can stay here or to deepen this, you can also bend your left leg as well, pointing your knee up toward the sky. And an even deeper version would be to reach the right arm up and over and touch the left fingers. That's your deepest version. You don't have to do that. I'm today going to just keep my right hand on the ground and extend my left leg as well, just using my right leg as a kickstand. Breathe into the left shoulder and the left chest. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale and release back to your belly. Extend your arms once again out to the side. This time slide the left hand underneath the left shoulder and roll onto your right side, keeping your right arm extended. And bend your left knee using that as a kickstand. And you have the option of bringing the right leg right next to it as well for a deeper twist. And lifting the top arm up and over and touching fingers. Again, those are just options. The key point here is that you get a nice deep opening in the front of your right shoulder and chest. I'm going to go back to option A myself here. This is a wonderful pose for helping to prevent that slouching that often bears down on us this time of day, after maybe a day of sitting at a desk. And then roll back onto your belly. Position the palms of your hands at your ribs once again for Cobra. Now press your hips down and inhale, lift your heart off the floor a little bit higher this time. As you exhale, draw your left shoulder back and your right shoulder forward and gaze over the left shoulder, squeezing around that left shoulder blade. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, draw your right shoulder back and your left shoulder forward. Gaze over your right shoulder and squeeze the muscles around the right shoulder blade. Inhale, come back to center. Curl your toes under, and then exhale up and back to downward facing dog. Soften your knees, look forward, and then step your right and your left leg forward into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale fold. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, touch your palms, and exhale, glide the thumbs to the heart. Now, a little balancing work. Bring your hands to your hips and shift your weight into your left leg and lift your right knee. Open it to the side and place your foot either high on the thigh or below your knee, near your shin. Press your foot into your leg and your leg back into your foot. Bring your palms at the heart. Let your gaze be soft on a drishti or a point in front of you. Then bend your left knee just a little bit and place your right ankle at your left knee. Bend your knee a little deeper and inhale, lift your arms up toward the sky. Imagine that you're sitting back into a chair. Again, keep your eyes focused on your drishti or your gazing point and let your mind still. Begin to straighten your left leg and lower your right foot back to standing. Find your drishti and shift your weight into your right leg now. Open your left knee to the side 
and place the sole of your foot either high on the thigh or below the knee. Remember, we're pressing our foot into our leg and our leg into our foot, so we don't want the foot at that unstable knee point. Bring your palms to Anjali Mudra. Let your mind soften as your eyes focus on your drishti. Begin to bend your right knee and place your left ankle at your right knee. Let your left knee drop to the side. And as you inhale, lift your arms up over your head. As you exhale, see if you can bend your right knee a little deeper to get a deeper opening in your left hip. Breathe here. And then inhale, straighten your leg and lower your left foot back to Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, soften the knees and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step your left and then your right leg back into plank, top of a push-up. Lower your knees and then lower your hips, heart and chin all the way down. Now this time, flip on over to your back and extend your left leg and draw your right knee into your chest. Then bring your hands behind the knee and lift your heel up towards the sky. Begin to circle your ankle. This is very good for moving um, stagnant fluid down from the lower extremities into the core. Switch direction. And then flex your foot, press your heel up toward the sky and get a little stretch in the hamstring. Draw the knee back into the chest and extend your right leg to the floor. Draw your left knee into the chest and then extend your heel up toward the sky. Interlace your hands around your knee or thigh. And again, draw that circle, moving fluid and lymph down from the feet and the ankles. Switch direction. And then press the heel up towards the sky and feel a, a nice gentle stretch in your left hamstring. And bend your knee, draw your knee into your chest, and lower your leg back to the floor. Now bend both of your knees, bring your feet to the floor, close to your hips. Press your low back down, and then begin to lift the hips up. Keep that length in the low back, tailbone reaching toward the knees, and tuck your shoulders deeply underneath you, interlacing your hands. Press your feet down to lift your hips a little higher. Resist allowing the knees to splay to the side. And breathe into the heart, opening the chest and the shoulders. Take one more deep breath here. And as you exhale, release your upper back and then your entire spine down to the floor. And now, draw your knees into your chest and take a nice rock and roll up to seated. So we'll finish this short practice this afternoon with a pranayama technique called Nadi Shodhana. This is a balancing pranayama technique. It helps to balance the energy in the body. So if you came to the mat feeling depleted um, or conversely anxious um, and nervous, this will help to balance your energy. So hopefully you'll continue with your day feeling um, alert but calm. So come into a comfortable seated position. If you like cross-legged, this is fine. I happen to like sitting on my heels. You can also sit up on a block or a blanket or even in a chair. So sitting up tall, take your right hand and place the second and third fingers of your hand between your eyebrows. We'll use the thumb to close off the right nostril and the fourth and fifth fingers to close off the left and we'll be alternating. If you'd like, you can rest your upper arm on your chest and now take the second and third finger, place it between the eyebrows Close the left nostril with your fourth and fifth finger and take a nice, comfortable inhalation through the right. Then close the right nostril, 
Open the left and exhale. Inhale through the left, a comfortably deep inhalation. Close the left nostril with the fourth and fifth fingers. Open the right and exhale. Inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Open the left and exhale. Let's continue like this, alternating nostrils for a few more rounds. Next round through your left nostril will be your last on that side. We'll finish with an exhalation through the right nostril. And then just lower your hands and return to normal breathing. Just enjoy this quiet mind for a moment. Then bring your palms together at the heart. Give yourself a deep inner bow for taking a few moments in the middle of your day just to practice, to bring yourself back into balance. And I thank you for sharing your effort and energy with me. Namaste.